once again, this video goes out to a part of the world where I just want to to let it be known that not all black people in America think that white people are evil devils. Um, we have been raised, I hate to have to say this, to pretty much look up and cherish white people. Um, the first toys I've had as a kid, you know, I had the G.I. Joes and stuff, they're all white images. All the cartoons were white. Everything was white. Even though, yeah, they had the Jackson cartoon and they had some small stuff, but everything we grew up with knew was white. There was no black holidays. There was there was no black Hollywood. We'd see black movies and everybody black was either somebody's servant or clowning or acting a fool. Even today on today's TV, the black guy is either super smart, super dumb, or gay. And they don't have too many black gay dudes on TV. But what I'm trying to say is this. The image portrayed throughout my 40 years of life, all I saw was black people be imbeciles, angry, and pissed off. And now I watch them on movies, and they're super hard. They're the hardest person on the I don't. I don't want to see that. Half the stuff that you see about black people is false. We're regular people, like everybody else. A lot of people around the world would say we're not pure black people because of the white influence on us in the 1600s. The black people bought to America have been filtered down with the white man's blood. That's what they say. So when there's white people here in America talking about go back to Africa, sending everybody in America to Africa in the 70s and the 60s would have created the same kind of Gaza Strip type shit. Because Americans in Africa as African Americans we ain't gonna take that shit that the Africans take from the South African whites. We would never go there. So Africa would never take us back. You see what I'm saying? If the Americans, or the African Americans, the, the, the so-called tainted Africans, if we went back to Africa, we would instantly become a major power on the world stage. Bam! Overnight. Because the difference between us and the Africans there, the world don't trust the Africans in Africa. You see what I'm saying? These people have been stripped away from their land within their land. There are people without a country never taken away from their country anymore, but they're not giving their country back. They're enslaved within their own country by be, being allowed to be there and not control it is an enslavement. In other words, they've been kept in captivity in our homeland. So, if all the African Americans was to go any place on the planet, it would end up like the Gaza Strip. Because wherever we at ain't going to want us out. And what? Here, in our own country, a country where most of us spawn from, we get no love from our fellow countrymen, who in return, if they show us any respect, may lose something from some of their fellow countrymen. In other words, it's kept so low that it's been at a simmer. See what I'm saying? And now that the president reflects what they don't want the truth is coming out and the truth is that there are certain people in the United States of America who would rather see a black man as a slave or not even here at all but those people who would rather not see anybody black in the United States unless they're playing football or basketball oh they don't even want black people to play baseball no more that's why they're getting them from the Dominican. Let me go somewhere else with this. What I'm trying to say is that there is a deep down overwhelming amount of white America who have been biting their tongue because the way they feel about black America pretty much talked to them through the media. This is all these guys do. 
And if you're on one side of the country, you see the other side of the country as something different. And when you go to the other side of the country and look back to where you came from, you can see why they see us as different. See, the media plays each side against each side. If there was ever solidarity in America, there would be strikes. There would be health care strikes. I said it. Where people would, everybody would go to the doctor, flood the hospital, and not pay the bill. Health care strike. You can't force. See, there's laws for big corporations not to be forced to pay anything in the end if anything was to happen. But we as citizens are forced to pay for everything. And when you have a group of people who believe that, you know, we, we built this country, how did you build the country? You didn't fucking plow one field. You, you didn't plant one fucking crop. See what I'm saying? The white people were put in a management position. If you're at the job and you're the boss and all of a sudden everybody that works for you is now your equal. This is a whole people who were to believe that they were the best. And in what I'm in what I'm saying is that they were themselves in different classes. Blue blood. There's a belief that white people are this and white people are that, but they separate themselves in classes. Only the upper crust benefit. So there's a whole under there's there's billions upon billions of white people who believe that they're more than what they are because they've been raised to believe so, but the actual reality is they've been enslaved by the richer to enslave the poorer. To, see, black people were supposed to try to enslave Mexicans or something. Black people were supposed to enslave, enslave the Chinese. Some, whoever was here after us, we were supposed to try to dominate them. But see, they see how we getting beat down and they slide up around the back. So... An old black man told me a long time ago, in America, whenever America adds another layer of race, they add another layer of animosity. In other words, he said the Chinese were sent here to be placed against us in the labor camps. They was they were supposed to take over as labor. And then the Chinese, then the Mexicans, and then da 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 da. Every group is supposed to take over for another group. And here in America what happens when one group is phased out they just sit around and they're worthless and white people are now that fucking group that's been phased out they've been phased out by white people you understand what I'm saying what I'm trying to say is this this class of people is now putting a foot down on, the, on their own people because now they're intruding on them in other words since I gotta come down they gotta go down even further and if they already thought they were better than black people and they weren't, now what are they going to think when actually their incomes will be lower than the average black people or whatever? Now, there's more people, there's more white people than poor than black people. You know what I'm saying? But there's actually more white people than black people. It's kind of hard for me to explain it from my perspective. I may be completely fucking wrong, but this is what I see. I see a group of people being lied to. You know, they were forced to do something. I'm not saying it's white people's fault. I'm saying it's the rich, elite people's fault, and they tend to be white. That's all I'm saying. Is there's white people destroying white people, and all white people see is black people and Mexicans. They can't see their own fucking nose in front of them, some of them. And those who can see the truth are called names are being fucked with by those white people who don't even want to have any association with black people I can't fucking explain this to you Australia but we live in, in a form of, of, of divide and conquer there's somebody trying to create a civil war amongst the people but the people will be fighting for what when civil war should actually be against the government and not the people versus the people so hey I gotta go. You've been too.